How are voters feeling about the presumptive nominees, both Donald Trump and President Joe Biden? Well, I think the voters have concerns about both nominees, but an election is a choice and they have to make one. We don't really know when we do polls today what choice they're going to make on election day, but I know what choice they would make if the election was held today. I think our poll shows Trump with about a four point lead and it, it expands if there, you put all the independent candidates in to five or more points. Uh, and so uh, that's a pretty decisive lead because if the popular vote was really more for Trump that he would kind of sweep the swing states. So right now, I think the polling is favoring Trump. There was a period here where it looked like it was tightening for Biden, but I think I think that period has passed right now. Uh, I think that the most important questions, and I'll just focus you on two questions, which is, do you approve of the job that Joe Biden was doing as president? 44%. Did you approve of the job that Donald Trump did as president? 55%. And so ultimately, even if they have reservations about both people, if they think one person did a better job as president and they're voting for president, that's who has the edge right now, unless those attitudes change in the coming months. As you said, a four point lead is pretty decisive. And when we look back at past polling, both in 2016 with Hillary Clinton, she was ahead of Donald Trump in the polls and 2020 with Biden Trump, Biden was ahead of the polls. So now looking at these numbers today, is this especially worrying to Biden? Yes, because Biden, uh, as you as you point out, uh, has not been in the position here of really being behind at this point. Trump has never been in the position of being ahead at this point. So that puts him better positioned to regain the presidency, certainly than most people predicted, certainly than I would have, if you'd asked me a year ago, would I have said that he would have uh, this kind of lead and that there would be Trump presidential nostalgia uh, out there to the extent that uh, there seems to be. Uh, I, pro I wouldn't have predicted it. I wouldn't have predicted how easily he won the Republican nomination and, and brought back his coalition. You know, I, I look at the poll and men in particular uh, are moving to Trump. I think women are sticking with Biden, have a lot of concerns about Trump. But uh, I think the real movement is among men of all types across all races, parties and ethnicities.